All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I've got the Koenig Arius Generation 2 here with me for a review, and we're gonna analyze the look, the sound, and the feel of this guy. But first of all, let's just do a quick size comparison. Uh, this is up against, uh, yeah, this is a beauty. This is the Quantum from Shiro Gorov. And this is up against the Holt Blade Works Spectre right over there. Look at these three beauties, top three probably right now. Uh, this is up against the Chris Reeve Knives Large Sabinza 31. Pretty much uh, a little bit smaller than that. Uh, and yeah, why not? Let's do another Shirogorov. We have the Neon R20 right there. And let's just throw in a couple of more popular options. Uh, this is the Spadeco Para 3. And uh, also, yes, of course, Spadeco para military too so check out you know almost uh, pretty much uh, the same size uh, almost like same blade to handle ratio so yeah guys this is the uh, Koenig Arius uh, uh, generation 2 beautiful beautiful knife uh, it's incredible uh, this is uh, made by Koenig uh, in US. Uh, this is an 8.5 inch long knife when open and 5 inch long handle. So yeah, do the math. This is a 3.5 inch long blade. Um, beautiful, beautiful design. Uh, at the beginning, I, I didn't like this one because it looked weird to me. But then I started to look into that and I'm like, hmm, well, actually these lines, they kind of make sense. Um, at the beginning, I, I didn't understand like why it was so thin here and then just bulging out like that and super tall blade um, I was a little bit like what is that and then I'm like hmm slowly I started to appreciate this one and then I said yeah let's check it out because let's let me see what the hype is about so guys uh, this is uh, fantastic. I, I don't know how to say. This is a great, great knife. Um, this one has lightning pocket. In fact, has been heavily, heavily milled out on the inside to reduce the weight. Beautiful titanium uh, scales. If you s uh, can see, I don't know, you can see the individual milling lines. This is a beautiful 3D machining uh, uh, kind of work like uh, I don't know it's just beautiful the lines are so harmonious and uh, and look at this I mean this is a work of art I think it's just fantastic I'm I'm really I'm really in love with this guy it's it's a beauty uh, there is a level of finish uh, that is insane like the chamfering going on around the edges it is beautiful it's not just like uh, uh, for example if you check the sebenza it has a beautiful chamfering going on but it's just like a parallel line it's just straight this widens right it nice here but this is straight and that is straight and also the same in the back so this guy has widening lines look at this one and look at this is small and then widens and then gets small and this widens and gets small and look at this sweeping line guys just to mill out this one and this one it just takes a lot of time on the back is same thing going on i mean this is close to perfection it's uh, it's fantastic you can truly see that they design this guy in every single corner like crazy. It's just beautiful. The level of chamfering, inner chamfering, skeletonization, it's fantastic. So this has like, look at this, for example, this, look at this, uh, the backspacer right over here. So the level of detail going on right over here is insane. This is a blue anodized titanium backspacer, 3D milled. Look at that. With this groove, beautiful lanyard hole integrated into that. So you see this keeps the line flowing and then just sculpted out like that to allocate the lanyard hole like that. It is insane lock release relief guy just check out just take a second to 
admire the work they've done here the jimping going on over here the level of milling the swooping line like that in order for your thumb just to slide in and this is you see there's uh, enough um, cut out with the jimping going on in this way so that you're gonna be easily be able to unlock um, the uh, sorry disengage the lock beautifully beautifully done you have a nice lock face insert uh, integrated uh, lock bar stabilizer you have an external uh, lock bar relief beautiful ceramic detent ball uh, the screw size are a t8 so you're gonna need one bit to take this knife apart and it's gonna be straight forward guys two screws pivot you are done very very easy to take apart to maintain the screws are um, almost flush these are completely flush just this guy over here the pivot is a little bit protruding of course it's a captive pivot it's clearly d-shaped and keyed in so you're just gonna need to unscrew this one and you are done check out the clip guys this is extremely nice there's just like two points of contact right over there i don't know if you can see yeah one on this side one on this side beautifully executed right amount of uh, spring tension uh, tip up only it's not reversible it's not gonna be ambidextrous guys this is fantastic you have this line coming up out here and this one just intersecting like this look at this this is completely flush but double chamfered here inside and out guys when you open this one look at would you look at this i mean the blade shape like swooping up thumb ramp this is a beautiful 3.5 inch long cts xhp stone wash drop point hollow grind blade it's just fantastic the stock thickness is the right thickness it's just a beautiful slicer check out this thumb ramp over here and the the how i mean guys look at the look at the wedge it's not just like a, it's a convex swedge it's like curved in inward and it ends like over here and like over here so absolutely symmetrical it is beautiful you have like 40 percent belly 60 percent of straight plane edge up to the sharpening choil which is gonna end into this flipper tab right over here and check out the line of the flipper tab just fully integrated with this finger groove going on right over here astounding this is a nice um, cut out is nice uh, uh, it's, it's a beautiful uh, hole uh, thumb hole sorry that you can use to deploy the blade like that or you can of course do like a spidey flick or you can also just uh, use the flipper tab which in this case it's a little bit pointy so this is my only gripe on this knife uh, uh, that you cannot push button you see you have just to light switch it like that you can't really do a push button uh, they fixed uh, this issue in the uh, gen 4 of this knife so they just rounded it off and you can just push button but we're gonna check this out later uh, but for this one it's uh, phenomenal it's uh, it's beautiful uh, like check out the area here so if you're gonna do like a light switch like that and you're gonna just basically do this movement with the fingertip of your index you have a milled area like a like a tunnel for your finger so it's not gonna be in contact with any uh, sharp surface whatsoever uh, the blade is fantastic the hollow grind is just insane pretty thin behind the edge look at that beautiful plunge grind going on intersecting this wedge going on up here phenomenal zero billboarding guys you, you only have this koenig which uh, logo which is subtly uh, punched in right over here absolutely disappearing not obtrusive i love it the sound this guy makes it's really nice 
you hear the bearing uh, whooshing around and rubbing up against uh, the scales right over there. They are beautiful. The sound is a nice, it's a nice clack. Resounding, it's very distinctive and unique when you close it. Beautiful clink, like that. Nice and classy and pretty solid and uh, it's 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 uh, translating into some sturdy kind of uh, feel to your ear it's just uh, just beautiful guys and the detail of the uh, blue anodized uh, screws uh, matching with the backspacer it gives just a a beautiful beautiful uh, look to this knife the uh, weight of this guy is going to be 4.8 ounces and uh, it is great. Uh, the, the feeling in your hand is fantastic. Zero hot spots, zero sharp edges. You don't have the jimping over here, but I like it. I like that it's, it's smooth over here. You have the jimping here, the jimping here, and that's it. Reverse grip on this guy is just gonna be phenomenal. Look at this. This is gonna serve as a finger guard. It's gonna be nice. This guy feels absolutely rock solid in your hand. Super smooth. Smooth. fit and finish is insane zero gaps no blade play uh, the clip ramp is fantastic great retention I mean deployment speed guys this is fast super fast you can spidey flick it it's gonna be a little bit slower if you spidey flick it like that or if you use just a thumb flick like like this sorry it's but it's gonna be fast and pleasant because this guy is smooth running on bearings caged of course detent strength is dialed in you have a nice kick back when the blade flies open when you the blade is open you um, if you jam like your finger you might be able just to feel a little bit of the tip but you have like really to push your finger in it okay so it, it is safe uh, of course zero rattling when closed uh, the lock bar is super easy to disengage zero lock stick because we have a stainless steel insert of course which is completely hidden um, you have a nice detent ball ramp which is gonna uh, cause the action the closing action to be absolutely smooth with no uh, hard step look at this guy guys there's like free fall so that as soon as you disengage the lock bar this guy just is gliding into the closed position. You can't uh, put this guy down because you want to keep playing with this. It's so fidgety, guillotine effect. It's, guys, this is phenomenal. Awesome look, uh, great sound, fantastic ergos. I mean, this is uh, one of my favorite knives uh, in a while. So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.